Welcome back to the Knit Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the beach side knit pillow. This is a basket weave pillow and this is using the Bernat Maker Home Deck yarn. So if you're interested in the basket weave this uh, particular pattern shows how to do that. It is a one sided pattern as the other side looks completely different. So it's a really great idea. Um, I really like this idea. It's really quite simple even for me as a beginner knitter. I was actually uh, quite enthralled with it. If you'd like to change the size I'm going to be talking a little bit about that as well and we're going to we're working on this project today. So in today's pattern you're going to need a 8 millimeter or US 11 knitting needles. It doesn't say to use uh, circular knitting needles but I prefer those. It's, not, it's just easier to keep it on and we're going to be using a Bernat Maker Home Deck today. So we have the pillow face. It does say to cast on 64 stitches but I like to change up things because you may want to make this into an afghan. So if you keep it in multiples of 8 you will be successful each and every time. So every group here so 1 and 2 is 8. And so the, there's another eight. So there's two groups of eight here. So as long as you have groups of eight you're gonna work out, you're gonna work on this project each and every time. Now if you prefer that your project have be like this okay so it looks like it's balanced on both sides it'll be a set of eight plus four. So that just helps you out with that. So today's pattern I'm gonna show you how to do this. We're gonna be knitting and then purling and knitting and then purling and what I have in my sheet here below is that I kept track as I went because it does like to switch every now and then. So it just likes to switch and then we just can follow that on the pattern as well. So when it switches then it changes as you can see right here. So let's begin and let's cast on some many stitches. So for those that are new to knitting we're just gonna create a slip knot. We have slower tutorials available on the basics of knitting and we're going to insert our knitting needles in. So what I want to do is that I want to cast on in groups of eight but if you're gonna do the pillow as I show it's uh, casting on 64 of these stitches. To cast on just simply go into the loop like so. Let's get that yarn into our hands. You may hold it differently than me. You're gonna wrap that back needle there bring it forward and but before you put it back onto the one that I'm touching right now you're just gonna twist and then slide on. I'll show that again. So going in wrap that back one coming forward twist and going in. So you're gonna do a total of 64 if you're doing the pillow. If you wanna do anything else just uh, chain on the mount that you want. As long as you keep them in sets of eight you're always gonna be able to be successful with this pattern. So for myself I'm only gonna cast on 16 just to show you how to do this pattern. It's a really quite an easy pattern and you can get used to doing this one pretty quickly I think as well. It's just a, my sample didn't take very much time for me even as a beginner. So please cast on the number of stitches that you prefer in order to play today. So the way that this pattern works is that every other row is just a straight knit going across. Okay so you don't have to do anything about purling nothing just straight knitting. Every other row is like that. So you get a bit of a mental break from being able to do this. So in row number one we're just gonna knit. So we're just gonna go in to the stitch just coming in from behind see where this needle is. Wrap it and bring it forward and slide off. So you're just gonna work your way all the way across. I have a total of 16 on my on my knitting needles to keep myself in balance and this is just the, called the knit stitch if you're new to knitting and you're just gonna knit all the way across for row number one. Please do so. I'll see you at the end of this row. So let's begin row number two. So I turned my knitting needles around. I still have it. Everything's been knit in row number one. So row number two, four and six always start off the same way before we do the transition of switching. So for example what we have here we're gonna have two, four and six and then we transition and do opposite to what's there in order to make it look like it's basket weave. So let's begin row number two. So rows number two, four and six are the same way but I will take you through it anyway. So what we're gonna do for rows number um, two, four and six is that we immediately purl into the very first one. Okay so we're coming in making sure that this yarn is in front of this front needle right here to purl and we wrap it and we come through and purl just like so. So we're gonna purl the first four. So that was one and we're gonna purl the next one. This is two. Okay purl next is three and four. So now that you got your four there the next four are just straight knitting. So move this yarn backward and behind the needle and knit stitch four in a row. So one, two, three and four just like that. So that's your group of eight. Okay so that was your multiples of eight. So let's uh, start the next section. So we're gonna then go back to purl for four. So move this yarn forward in the front of the project 
and purl the next four. So one, two, three, and four. So I've been knitting for about regularly for about a month now. I'm actually getting a lot more smoother with these knitting needles than I expected to. So then the last four are just straight knitting. So just straight knit stitch. So one, two, three, and four. So, so do you see how we started? So we started off with four purls, four knits, four purls, four knits and you continue that same idea going all the way across your particular row of stitches. So when you're ready to move on for row number three, we're gonna do so next. So as promised, every other row is just a straight knit. So coming in, making sure the yarn is in behind first when you start your, your knit and just straight knit going all the way across. This is row number three. So every other row we get a mental break, just speed along, just get your knitting done and it's every other row then you gotta worry about that purl in order to create that basket weave. So remember this is just straight knit and I'll see at the end of this row. So let's begin row number four. So we're returning back to starting with the purl again. So coming in the first four, just make sure this yarn is still in front now and you're gonna purl the first four. So one, two, three, and four like that. And then what are you gonna do? You're gonna knit, right? So you're gonna move that back and so the next four are just gonna be a straight knit. So one, two, three, and four. So then what are you gonna do? You're gonna go back to a purl. So move that yarn forward and purl for four. So one, two, three, and four like so and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna return back to knit. So just move the yarn back and knit the final. So that was row number four. So do you see the concept that you're doing? It's actually pretty easy, right? It's not too high to count to and therefore you've got going on. So if you look at your project now, you probably can see the pattern is starting to develop on the other side just like you see here. So let's move along and go to row number five. So keeping with my theory, every other row is just straight knit, right? So the last row we did that special purling stuff. So this row we just knit all the way across. So please do so for row number five, just straight knitting back and forth or just over across. <laughs> I'll see you in here uh, for row number six in just a moment. So row number six is the last time that we're gonna follow this particular pattern before we do the switch over after this. So again, the first one will be, and make sure this yarn is in front, the first four will be purl again. So this is the last time that you'll start like this for this group of stitches before we have to do that transition to kind of make things opposite to get that basket weave look. So the first four are gonna be straight purl like that. Move that yarn back. The next four are knit. Okay and then the next four are purl. So you can really uh, zoom along on this once you get comfortable with your knitting needles if you're a beginner like me. And finally moving that back and the last one are just knit. So we're gonna move on to number seven. What do you think it's gonna be? If I told you every other row is just straight knit, what do you think seven's gonna be? That's right, it's gonna be straight knit. So I'll see you there in just a moment. So this is row number four. So I told you it's straight knit and guess what it is. So what's gonna happen then in the next row, row number eight is that we are going to switch the starting point to be opposite to what it was. So last time when we were doing this, we were doing purl four, knit four, purl four, knit four and you continue that all the way down the line. So what's gonna happen on row number eight is that we're gonna do it opposite. So we're gonna knit four and then purl four, knit four and purl four. So we're just changing the starting and this will change that look and it will create the basket we look by doing so. So it's really quite uh, an easy pattern to be able to follow. It's just a matter of keeping track of the amount of rows that you do to make it sure that it looks pretty even. So I would continue to write things down if I were you in order to keep things in balance. So let's move on to row number eight. So row number eight is gonna do opposite to what we had been doing. So the first four will be just straight knit. So one, 
this will change around the stitch look two, three and four and then the next four are straight purls. So just move that yarn forward first and then purl the next four. Your sample may be much bigger than mine but uh, it's still the same thing. Okay and so that was four. Move that yarn back. You're gonna purl the next four. Sorry this is knit four. I apologize. I know somebody's gonna make a comment on that. Okay and then the last four are purl. Okay so it's opposite to what you had been doing before. So that was row number eight. So what do you think is gonna happen on row number nine? Row number nine straight knit right? Because every other row that's what I said it was gonna happen. So row number nine is just a straight knit and I'll see you there in just a moment. So let's turn ourselves around. You can start seeing that the pattern is starting to come out on the knitting needles just like though. Okay row number nine as promised is just a straight knit across. So this happens every other row no matter what row that you're on as long as it's every other one and this gives it time to grow in order to create that basket weave. So just knit yourself all the way across for row number nine. So let's begin row number ten. So the first four are gonna be knit. Okay so we're gonna continue that established pattern. So the first four are knit. And the next four are what? That's right it's gonna be purl. So let's move that yarn forward and purl the next four. Hopefully you're getting the idea of this pattern right? It's not that hard. Actually I was, I just learned this pattern. So it's not like I didn't know how to do purl and, and, and knit stitch before. It's just I never realized that I could put them together so easily. So the next four are knit stitch. So. And then the next four are what? Purl, right? So you're gonna purl. So that concludes off row number ten. Just like that. Okay, so that was row number ten. So there's only two more rows before we start doing the repeat pattern. You can see it's really coming out now. So row number eleven is what? It's just a straight knit, right? Every other row is just straight knit going across. So then you got one more row, row number twelve and row number twelve is the finale of this repeat pattern. So it will take you back and we repeat one through twelve again and one through twelve but then we'll um, reverse exactly what we're doing right now in order to create that look of the basket weave. So this is um, row number eleven. Got one more row to do and then we just transition back uh, to row number one again and then go all the way to twelve in order to create that look. So you can reverse the video if you'd like to be able to do that. That's up to you if you understand. I would strongly recommend you do write down your stitch uh, rows as you go and it just makes it uh, so that you don't accidentally screw up and put an extra. So that was row number eleven. Okay so let's do row number twelve. So let's begin row number twelve. So row number twelve the first four are knit. So this is the last time we'll be starting like this for the repeat pattern. So the next four, so the four here in a row are knit and then we switch over to purl for the next four. I'm gonna start you on uh, the repeat pattern as well just to make sure you got it and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about that as well. So we're just doing everything that you already know and you're keeping in balance. So I've lost count. One, two, three, four. I've got one more to go and continuing along. So I'm gonna knit the next four. So if I look at everything in groups of four it's just a lot easier to mentally be able to handle that. Okay and then I put the last four. So when we go to start off with row number one what do you think that we're gonna be doing? That's right we're gonna just be doing the straight knit across. So we're still continuing that idea that every other row in between is just a knit. So you still get that mental break that you really would probably prefer instead of having to count every row. So that's what makes this kind of easy to my point of view as a new crochet or as a new knitter. So let's uh, just turn our work. So this is the last time you've done that. So now as we move to row number one again it's gonna be completely opposite. So you can see that this is the first section we did. Then there was a number two 
and then it's gonna switch back and it's gonna change again. So let's uh, just get you started to make sure you understand what you're doing. So essentially you're just gonna take the pattern as you know it and just keep repeating rows one through 12. So the first row is just straight knit again and then row number two what's gonna happen is that we are going to then start off differently in the front. So we'll purl our four to begin and then we'll do our knit. Okay so it's just opposite to what we had been doing in the last few rows. So that gives you that look that you are desiring for the basket weave idea for this particular pillow. Again you don't have to do a pillow. You can do a, an afghan. You can do many things because I've given you the secret answers. The number is eight for doing multiples of this kind of idea as well. So I'm gonna get you started on row number two and then I'm gonna leave the rest of this pattern for you because you can continue to reverse this video and take you back in order for you to be able to follow along if you're still not getting it at this point and you still need some help. Okay so I'll see you on row number two. So we're back on to row number two. Remember that the first four are gonna start off with a pearl this time. So one, two, okay, three, and four. Just like that and then the next four are knit. So hopefully you get the concept. Uh, just I think you really just need to keep that pattern close to you just to make sure that you are uh, watching your counts as you go. And uh, I've actually gotten used to this pattern already which is kind of amazing because I've only done a little small sample at this point. Um, but I've gotten used to just kind of eyeing out the groups of four uh, without actually mentally having to count too much as I go. So I can just vis vis uh, physically just look at the needle and see the groups of four quite easily to be honest with you. Sometimes you gotta use your fingers obviously like a um, um, I forget one of those tools where you have to slide the numbers. Remember those old tools. So then the last ones are going to be knit. So that's it for now. This is uh, Mikey on behalf of the Knit Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. This is the stitch work in order to do basket weave but also you can make that beach side pillow that I've provided you the pattern for and that's in the more information of this video if you'd like that. So you can see this is how it turns out. It looks amazing and until next time I'm Mikey. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.